Hello, hello. Hello, hello, and welcome to another Artful Monday stream. Today I am joined by the most excellent digital monkey master. And we uh, build a zoo. How you doing? Hey, I'm doing good, thanks, Emma. How are you? Doing pretty good. Excellent, excellent. I've gone ahead and very bare bonesically gray boxed a little bit of this zoo. Uh, no animals in it yet, but that's okay because the fences are are not functional yet either, and we need those first. Yeah, I think so. uh, penning animals in is a great start to be honest. Yeah. Day one of zoo building, everyone's been eaten. <laughs> I was very bad. It was the the zoo builder sim game, like zoo tycoon or something like oh, that. Yeah. Animals before guests, before barricades. Dang, I, I didn't think this through. <laughs> Everything's fine. It's all good. This will be fine. <laughs> <laughs> So I've got a little bit of enclosure idea down for mm -hmm. the four weeks, depending on who wins the last two weeks. Enclosures yeah. may change. I was thinking like, in case we get monkeys, I've seen like monkey enclosures in a zoo being kind of in a building that you go up and walk through and then you can kind of see them in chambers to the left and right. And then you exit the building yeah. back out on the main route. Uh, probably a, in week two, this is going to be desert palleted a little bit more than it currently is. Mm -hmm. Right now it's just a couple of placeholder ideas I was thinking of how to do the far side of the fence in for this enclosure. Mm -hmm. Probably not going to be these bushes. So, desert to the left, the lions probably need more protection in their enclosure, more for us than for them. So they get this nice uh, lifted barricade kind of thing, which can be replaced with other pieces. Right now it's just to know how to gap the walls out. Mm. And week four remains a mystery. Far into the future. Yes. <laughs> Who knows what that might be. Got a little snack area here in the entrance. We have our restaurant and a potential gift shop right now i've just stolen some of vox Elias's, um structures here mm -hmm. and there <laughs> yeah there's the bones of it so what do you think we should build on first well um i dare say um just to get the level kind of bulked out first so have a desert area over here and have a lion enclosure because I think we had uh, four participants in the lion this week if I'm not mistaken okay. this is kind of like kind of already there mm -hmm. um, so I can finish building this uh, lion structure out maybe make a couple of pieces to replace those blocks with that aren't mm -hmm. so stretched um, there might be some desert, like this grass ground thing, there is currently a desert. Oh, hey Scooter, yes. welcome! Um, we're just making a zoo for the Week We Are Challenge Showcase. I think I could do terrain. If you <gasps> want to work on some of the pieces, I can get started on a terrain here. Uh, yeah! <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean that, that to sound so condescending. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just oh, excited. Yeah, summer dog. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, God. God. <laughs> oh yeah, this will look mad with terrain. Okay, cool. I will get one spawned in and start replacing these ground bits with it. Because then we can just paint desert over mm. there. Yeah, it'd be a lot more time efficient, I think. Yep, yep. So... I think while you do the base, what I'll do is I'll pull in the weekly art challenge submissions that we've had so far. Mm -hmm. And then I'll have a look at where you're at and where we need to do where we need to be, I suppose. 
because I don't know. I'm just kind of coming in blind, like, where do you need help? <laughs> hey, it's all good. You can um, see any spot you feel like fiddling with and just go for it. If you want to make the, uh, the wall pieces for anything, or if you want to fancy up this food court, or I don't know, man. Find something you like. I bet I could make that look good. Go for it. I am not too precious or attached to anything I've put down, by the way. <laughs> if you want to do okay. something, go for it. There's another part of this is just scope as well, isn't it? Yep. I want them to be at their real size or feel kind of immersive yeah. to look at them. Even though, like, I think some of them are going to be 2D. We'll just... We'll, we'll climb that hill when we get there. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Prefab! Or, um... Hi, Ashley! Can I call you Ashley or Prefab? I never know which, if I should stick to people's names or their real names or what they prefer. Anonymity. <laughs> yep. Hello, person that I know. Kind of. I <laughs> <laughs> hope you're doing well today. I'm about to start some terrain for the zoo. Terrain. Wee. <laughs> Off, get off of that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, you spawned that in right under me. It's not my I fault. Didn't mean, <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I wish I could rename it from here. I know I'm going to get lost in that amount of unlimited resources. That is a one day thing. I will name it Magic Superpowers off camera later. Get this to the scale. Probably. Usually do 120, but I don't think we're gonna need to do more than 100. Oh, yeah, uh, watch out. <laughs> oh, yeah, we can keep this well. just gonna make it nicer the size of faces when I start carving in the terrain if I can keep it as small as possible from the start. That is where I struggle with getting the brush size to actually behave once the terrain is like over a hundred in scale. Yours and Foxy's Lion, uh, fairly similar colour palettes, I like that. Oh, you really? Yeah, they can be a little fan. Yeah. Or, I don't know. Yeah, we just take one of the walls out. There we go. They have a family unit in there now. <laughs> <laughs> can I just say, that sound effect took me by surprise. <laughs> like, wait, something got removed. <laughs> Oh. This is where I missed the XYZ scale handles from. Yeah, a little bit. I don't want to ununiformly warp it yet because it's um, uh, behind the scenes. I don't, I don't think this is going to change the terrain brush. If you non uniformly transform it, it kind of breaks the brush, brush's behavior on it. So, say if it's longer on the X the sensitivity with which it's going to fly across the screen on you on the X once it's stretched increases like pretty drastically. But if you kind of know what you want your terrain to do in advance and then you carve it out and then you non-uniformly scale it to fit, then I think that would be the way to do it instead of 
trying to actually fight your brush the whole way through. So what I was thinking when it came to the weekly art challenges mm -hmm. is that I'll do 2D sprites and they can be like come this way for the lions and come this just like signs yeah as opposed to actual things because making actual things is hard <laughs> <laughs> that's the challenge <laughs> but you can make whatever challenge level is comfortable for you and hopefully they'll all oh, hey the cars are in nice oh, i'll get to that in a second though. um but yeah take on the amount of challenge you're comfortable with. yeah I think for me a big big constraint is just time. I have so much to do that I can only dedicate like an hour to something. Yeah. And because I'm not that experienced with making 3D models in voxels, I'm fine with like Blender and whatnot. But when it comes mm. to voxels, it's a different ball game. <laughs> so I'll just stick with 2D sometimes. Yeah. yeah Focus on texture rather than form a lot of yes. the time. Definitely. Once you get to a place where you're um, comfortable with like 2D pixel art and it just kind of comes second nature, voxel yeah. art starts to become second nature, I think, as well. But as ever, like, there's days where I struggle with one more than the other. <laughs> I. I'm not joking. Like, there's some days where I like I remember all the principles of animation, and like I get a gig that's like an animation gig, and I'm totally good for it, and I'm ready. And then there's days where I am absolutely on the struggle bus, <laughs> and I've forgotten how to uh, make anything move. Send help, please. <laughs> please help. <clears throat> so uh, there's a camel by Okina. Orkanatai? Or Orkanatai, I guess him. That was a remix of uh, Fox Cubes. It's just here and it's like a cyborg thing. I love it. I'm going to include that. That is absolutely going in. That's, that's awesome. <laughs> I wonder if they. Did they actually put it in the Discord channel with it and all? Because uh, I don't think they're in the Discord. Um, but they also made these camels. All of them. It's going to be a full enclosure. You know when you were talking about add adding a desert area? Yeah. Oh yeah. Let me. Thinking of just having like, um, rather than it just being a small enclosure with the deserts, they tend to be quite big, right? Right. Because the animals that live there uh, <laughs> need lots of space. Okay. Um, so I can push this enclosure for week three further out. So like, grab all of these bits and bobs here. Not, let's go yank it that way-ish. Want to go like wider that way? Yeah, I think that'd just be just generally better to have more space for them. Cool. And just for me to get kind of a wall. Ha. That's move. perfectly. Love it. All right. So I don't want everything to be strictly rigid and straight all the way through. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give myself a little bit of a notch outside of this. Right over here. Um and I can grab the little terrain here. I'm just gonna use probably a smaller box. 0.7 or something. I know it seems like a lot of back and forth with the offset tool of the construction plane, but this allows me to control the exact elevation level of things that I want. And I don't know why I'm so um, particular about this lately, but I am. 
<laughs> would do you think it would be cute if the cyborg camel went welcome to camel enclosure oh yes and he has like a little info blurb on camels in general like did you know that the camel stores water in the beep boop pump <laughs> Did you know that a camel with two humps is not actually a camel? <laughs> wait, 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 really? It's, a, it's called something else. A, a, a drummer. Dromedary. Oh, I suppose it is a camel. It's just not near. Never mind. Just ignore me. Okay, I am so being it's just a different stupid. classification of the, of the same... Kind of it's a different species of camel. Okay. Don't worry about height or whatever. Um, just fix things it's just to get an idea. Yep. Um, Wait, is that cool with the spawns or do I need to go? Welcome to camel enclosure. <laughs> okay. Oh, I need DBB chatty. I just have to come see the camel. Okay, welcome to welcome to the camel. I love it. Um, <laughs> Cambot, <laughs> Camelbot, Cambot seems fine. Cyborg camel's called. I was bored, so I took an unfinished camel and turned it into this. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Well, maybe there should be an oasis where they can kind of. So, like where Ooh. this kind of digs in, they could have. Oh, wait. Summer. Yeah. What if we're on a bridge overlooking a desert? Because lions also live in a savanna, so we can add like the same desert biome, but just whack a few grass blades and a couple of trees in there. Okay, so like all of this area between enclosures one and two, and then yeah, go ahead and move and show me what move the pieces and show me what you're thinking. So like a land bridge or an object bridge. Oh. Right. Can I also select? Of course I can. Is it called a railing? It is called a metal bar fence. I think I just selected the terrain. I must have done. Your selection appears to be on a fence object. Oh, and a bunch of other stuff. <laughs> okay, so I did select the correct things. Now where's the center point? We got like this, but oh, it's an actual bridge. Okay, yes. I'm seeing it. And then, so right. maybe for this one. And then you can just peer into the desert area on yeah. both sides. Uh huh. Well, you said you're not precious about anything, so if yeah. you didn't like it, we just don't do it. Yeah, <laughs> Simple. Like because then I can kind of break the space up a little bit more. I want mm. a shift in. These little shifts in height add a little bit more variety to the scene. It just gives you more to climb around and look up and above and under and through. Yeah. So, yeah, that's good. I like this. <clears throat> oh, 
Don't worry about too much uh, flushing it up against the, the object there. Unless you are going to replace it with like a, a constructed bridge. Yeah, why am I? Why do I care? Because I <laughs> can the, just line the terrain up to it. <laughs> Is there a Hitamachi bridge? Oh, we already have a, a bridge to, to put there? This style, if you remember. Ooh, uh, yes. And then you've got like stone steps. Uh -huh. If we want like a. Um, where is it? It's old, and I don't think it's been featured. Mate, this tune is banging. <laughs> I'm popping my head. <laughs> <laughs> I am glad you like it too. To help me hear you, because I have to keep the volume up a certain amount past comfortable for me, mm -hmm. I, I muted music to myself. <laughs> so oh, okay. It is a public service more than a personal thing <laughs> for, for today. Where is it called? Oh, I'm going to have to dig for this. Right. Topicbang.com slash profile slash Hitamachi. Oh, that's not their name. It's Hitamichi. Oops. Because they did tons of like really cool stonework. Greystone wall segment. Uh. This one, or this one, and then Greystone Bridge segment is the one I've pulled up. Okay, so it is the right one. Mm. Having said that, it doesn't need to be. with some of the placeholder bits and pieces I've been making since the uh, past Halloween. Mm, needs to be big. It needs to be wide. Oh my goodness. Uh, rotation zero. 90 zero. it depends how big how far away from the ground we want it because the angle is going to look weird yeah um, um I, I don't know that we should go so high up that one once you spawn in you should be able to sorry let me do that to you i keep forgetting um once you spawn in everything should be kind of visible like where you should go but if you go too far high you might block off weeks three and four from view from spawn yeah I'm gonna keep the line of sight yeah. get up it's a cool idea but i think it would have to be a custom thing that's no problem we can make a more custom So I can just go ahead and remove the excess and just trim out what we don't need. So I can uh, give Neo Shard a clip to, I don't know, find <laughs> when they get here. And then I will start making a bridge. If this one doesn't work. Does this one work, do you think? I like this 
Yeah, yeah, I like this. As we can take, just to kind of modernize it into kind of a zoo fence, instead of using the fence that's currently here, which is more entities than it needs to be, I could just take two gray bars and drive them through these kind of columns on the left and right of it. Mm -hmm. To fence things off. And I think that'll look really nice. So kind of like yeah. that. Mm -hmm. Like that. It's cool. I'm just going to see if it fits if we stretch and pull if these pieces get too warpy or not. It seems okay. Side effect. Now it goes over the sides like that. Hmm. Yeah. I think they get a little too big because when you put an avatar beside any of these columns, I think they're going to be, yeah, taller than you. If it's a little bit taller and drop down slightly, mm -hmm. there's a little bit of squash on the height. Yep. I'm about to stretch it. You might get stretched. We. Here. It looks really cool point. from the side. <laughs> Tell you what, we'll, we will use this as a placeholder one for now. I think we can do something very similar, but just a little bit less um, detail on the columns so that once we squash and stretch it to our needs, it's not going to distort too much taller than the board. <laughs> Interesting. Oh. Should I turn mine up or should we turn DMM down, do you think? is at the max that it can go on the mixer and probably also here Test, 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 test.
Maybe I'll get a little... Oh, uh, Chris, do you want to say something to test? Oh, well, it's me, the MM. How's that? Sounds good to me. Awesome. Actually. Ashley says, mm. sounds good. How do you feel about doing... Oh, I don't actually know how difficult that'll be. Because I was just thinking of having the... Go up to a shop and press a button and get a drink and walk around with a drink and whatnot, but that's like not the point of this. So please ignore me. I know it's not the point of it, but if it adds some flavor and you got the gumption to do it, I mean, go for it. <laughs> it will definitely be adding birds. Oh, yes. You gotta have some more nature stuff going around. Clouds, also mm -hmm. trees. Um, it'd be fun to add some trees. The question is which? Now I think these are like more acacia. Be alright if they had a darker color. Or do we want to go with? Something more in. Mm. The other tree was pretty stylistic, but this one's nice. And there's a nice little pop of color with the leaf color we got. Hmm. This one. <laughs> Very nice kit. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, my artistically disassembled tree. <laughs> um. It was very helpful when I was making potato, but not make, maybe for making uh, what we're doing right now. <laughs> I'm sorry, Summer, I think you misspoke there. I think you said potato instead of potato. P potato? Put. Pot. Put. <laughs> potato. <laughs> yes, sir, I would like some potato chips. I think I'll make a little semblance of like more zoo than can actually be accessed over here so that it feels like it goes on for longer than it actually does for a little bit more immersion mm. i'm gonna go ahead and run a save on that and get our street out of the ground and then i'll start working on that bridge piece I don't know if I've added more work for you or not. <laughs> but it's worth it. It's always worth it. <laughs> well, I wish I had the tree pack that I've been working on for a mysterious other thing because that could be very easily brought in and repeated and adjusted mm. soon. I agree. <laughs> so yeah, I think these are the options that I like. Very different. Yeah, the one you have currently selected totally works the most in the current enclosure. Mm. 
just repeat it in a few different places at a few different heights. Different angles, different scales, yeah. And just throw some wild grass around it. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, give me that. Bring yeah, with the lines, good. this one. Yes, definitely. Different okay. varieties, maybe. Continue working on it in the voxel object editor in the game. <laughs> um, bear with me one second. I'm gonna sort something out on Discord quickly. This is so difficult. What's difficult? See, I've not touched Wickbot for a long time, and um, uh, yeah. I've changed some settings, and it's not gone through yet. So, um,
this bridge base. Nice. Interesting. I can't fight with somebody who's already left the server, so they've obviously been found out and then just left, so we can't kick or ban them. Oh. Which is very stupid, in my opinion, because I should be able to ban somebody that leaves. Make sure they don't come back, right? Exactly. There's no like list of people you can add to a personal block list, and then if they, well, no, because then mm. ah, I have no idea. <laughs> about the color and pattern of this thing until we get it in into the world and we'll adjust the amount of detail it has from there oh look who it is it's circling welcome back <laughs> how are we doing and it didn't want to move. Camel land. Right, I think. I'm gonna add a couple of troughs. 
Very important, the troughs. object that are going off from where you are. Confused. Because I'm editing a voxel object within the game right now. Oh, are you using the old, uh, old game editor? Yeah. Stuff? Yeah. I don't know if that shows up for you. I think it reloads resources right until right. you okay. refresh. Right, so you, you, and you need to be parented to. rectangle that's called grade three. Okay, I'll parent it to the wrong thing. Stream game fill of plinth. So if something isn't universally uh, uniform. Oh, most things in that are not uniform in scale. And that's yeah. a float point issue, I think. Yep. Maybe the week or number sign texts if you need to group something for moving it around. Uh, or just tag it. Week, sign, and the number were all point numbers around okay. one. <laughs> we'll just fix those, hopefully that will... No. Okay, I give up. <laughs> Those that don't really need... That's a great question. Mm, I think monkey. I, I, I agree like, with that. I like monkeys a lot. It's in my name. <laughs> oh, true. I didn't even make that connection. <laughs> Great, isn't it? Do I need to 
scale them down slightly. We'll leave some room. So, this one. Oh, what am I doing? I own this object. I can just make a new trough. <laughs> some grain in yep. the middle and some water either side. Easy. Easy peasy, go for it. That was such a fun stream with Ashley making the harvest um, game that she made. So this is from that? Yeah. I don't know if I've played this one. I, you'll have to link me. Right. I like link it post stream. Uh, well, obviously I need to be on dotbigbang.com to look for the thing. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> um, is it under? Wheat. Or is it under harvest crop? Something at the Acropolis is there. Farm um, mini games? Which I started it under. Welcome, welcome. We're just working on building a zoo for our weekly art challenge for this month, which is animals. And then we'll be, we'll be putting everyone's submissions. And you can kind of see where DMM is putting in all of the camels from week two right now. Found the game. tried to post it but it might have gotten um removed so I can't see it. There we go. You can like walk through the wheat and then if you like press your mouse button harvest yeah. and as you harvest them the trough fills up with wheat. Okay so I don't think I can click a link posted in chat in StreamYard. Uh, I've posted them to both chats. But, for some reason, YouTube isn't having a clickable link. Which is really weird. Uh, okay, hold on. I'm going to go over to Twitch manually. I'm just going to grab it from there. Oh my gosh, the chicken cubes! <laughs> this is excellent! Hold on, I gotta get this over here. To, so that it can be seen. We had, uh, so we had like a Farming Weekly Art Challenge month. Uh-huh. Ashley made a cute game with it all in. Okay. Nash says, what about lions? Yes, lions was week one, and they are going to be in a separate but kind of contained enclosure on the right side. I'll show you the second when we get back. This is a massive size. I feel like I'm going to reap some souls. <laughs> this is metal. I love cool, it. <laughs> Do it the other way around. Oh, hey, nice. This is awesome. It's always a great time when we have you, Charlie, Charles, and Ashley streaming. Okay, 
okay, I just need to stop to admire the square chickens and then I'll be ready to go back to work. <laughs> no. I'm sorry, I can't work tomorrow. I'm too busy admiring the chickens. <laughs> me whenever a farming game comes out. Last week, I made a little animation, just a little flick of the tail, really. And here's uh, DMM's Alex the Lion. Alex the Lion! I hear that every time. It's a... Wait, is this like an actual mascot character from, from the thing? Yeah, it's uh, Madagascar. Oh, I see it. <laughs> I see it now. This game is like visual ASMR, like it's just uh, satisfying to see the wheat, wheat disappear, Ashley says, and I would like 100% agree. It's so satisfying. I kind of want to, like, you know when you get bubble wrap and you're like, oh man, I'm going to spend the next three hours on this. Popping. <laughs> Popping. It's that feeling. Kind of hear the music through years. Can you? Oh. A little bit. Let me turn down. It's quite loud on my end, um, but that might just be me. Let me turn the music down just a notch from there. Huh. So important question, following up to the uh, visual ASMR. Are we going to make a power washing simulator? Because I feel <laughs> like it's kind of called for. Yes, please. <laughs> oh, that'd be so much fun. We don't have decals or anything though, do we? Uh, well, I suppose they're no. not be too difficult in theory, but it might be a little entity intensive yeah that's true okay so i've put in some bridge to replace the bridge ground thing that was there and in case that doesn't show up for you correctly we can refresh the page here it's so a lot save Is it going to be multiplayer? Yes, if you would like it to be, almost any game on the platform is multiplayer. You, all you have to do is add a multiplayer link to the end of it. I'm currently multiplayer because we've had uh, situations where users come in and like delete stuff and it just makes the stream that is true. a little less pleasant. <laughs> currently, not multiplayer. <laughs> I mean, it's not my best work, but it will suffice. Done. Remix. You're going to start the power washing sim? Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Ashley says she's going to start the power washing sim. I'm going to hold you to it. Yeah. <laughs> we demand it right now. If it's not done... If it's not done now... You're doing it wrong. Yep. Right. But that said, to be fair, I've not forgotten that I've also promised that I would make 
a lo-fi um, streaming idle game set up for for you and it's still on my to sketch list yeah oh, six that's got lots of stuff in it there we go it's not amazing but it will suffice right Ooh, i'm gonna reload like water to the left and right oh yeah let me save and reload as well so that this all populates i will reload again so your host sorry chat i'm kind of abandoning you focusing on doing the thing <laughs> it's all good Ooh, we've got a nice little so there's no pattern is there anything on it yet but just to get the railings at the right width and height that it kind of behaves and then i can go back in and make it look all nice and party later <laughs> yeah The big camel. Hey, wait, why is your camel hiding out underneath the bridge? Get it, get back out here. Hey! <laughs> There's no hiding your art in this game. I didn't hide it, I promise. kind of does a mean lean. But if I pull it further this way, it's going to kick out of the bridge in front of it. If I pull it further that way, people are going to have a tripping hazard and I'm going to get sued and that's the end of Zoo Tycoon for me again. Oh. There's no way out of that. I'll just grab some of these. Oh, <laughs> Nice job on the wheat. Feels nice and textury. Or what camels eat if in case they don't eat wheat. I'm not. What? You're no not idea. a camel expert? As Seriously? it turns out, no. <laughs> <laughs> they look like they're attached to something. That will suffice for now. Right. I gotta turn off these cast shadows. I wonder if the bridge is currently too high. In relation to camel enclosure. Yeah. Um, the... I guess the more important question is which would you rather have moved? Have the um, camel ground raised higher? Because we also have to take into account the food stand. Yeah, I think I think you're right. We move the bridge down and we'll just soften this incline. Mm. Here. Like I think that. from in world, you won't be able to see everything in it. All of its glory will be like really far away, or it'll feel far away. True. Okay, so let me just kind of simulate a camera position here. Yeah, give it a little feel, even at this height. So sink it down a little bit more. Hmm. Do that. I want to try what um, this current rotation is 12. Past that, we'll go six. And then I'll just carve underneath the bridge mm. to kind of simulate that it's lifted from there. It's going to look really cool from this side as well. Okay, 
Okay, so you want to give that a little run and see how you how you feel. Or I will get these temporary ground pieces out and start carving underneath. Back out of the terrain. What do you reckon? is just just enough you can kind of lean the camera down and see all the way around to the troughs if you wish to I think, can the camels be I think they can be bigger the camels are they're big and they're not like loose moose but they're they're, big ones. <laughs> they're about um one and a third the height of the Basically. They're one, a third bigger. Yeah, they're like a third bigger than people. But I figured with these being babies, they're okay. Oh, being these smaller. are the baby ones. Okay, so so I'm shrinking back down. This is supposed to be a baby as well. Okay. I'm like, ah, we're just like a big. <laughs> Wait, well, where's where's mom and dad camel or parent guardian camel? Oh, that's a good point. Uh, well, they're could... all baby, baby sets. <laughs> so now she says, how long have you been working on the zoo? Um, as of about two hours ago. I think I just did a little bit of blocking out before stream. Just to see where everything should be. Little camel family go. like this. Yeah, camel fam. Yay, camels. Love it. Right. And then I think we act, I think we'll just put this here. Yeah, Welcome that. to the camel head closure. Lovely. <laughs> Let me get the um, sign out of the ground now that I've kind of settled on the height. Really gone and buried it up into the bridge here. Some sort of pool. What do we? Right, let's put the trees on the ground for the start. Hope you're all standing on the terrain because I'm deleting all the ground under it. <laughs> Whoops. My bad. Alright, I was just trolling you. I know. <laughs> Wait, where did the terrain go? Wait, what? It grabbed the terrain. When did it grab the terrain? Okay, here. Alright. I did it. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put the camel on the bridge, because that's the food zone. We don't want a random camel. Okay. Let's go ahead and get this ground looking groundier. And it's looking kind of pale at the current eleva elevation. After a quick coffee sip, of course. So, you'll see the camel, it's a big exclamation, you're like, oh, I better run towards that, and then you see week two camel, and then he goes, welcome to the camel enclosure, cool. Um, okay, 
tell you what, let's go further up and this will be grassier. No, no, that's not it. One thing I haven't taken into consideration is um, ownership. Who authored, who made, who the artist was. Words are hard, apparently. Who did it? Who did, who did what? Oh, the labels for Yeah. Um, this piece belongs to this person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Maybe you can have it float above the entries, because they're grouped, right? So you could put a text object and offset it. Oh, that's like, true. Say to, say to this one. I love that we have offsets on everything now. <laughs> I've gone mad with it. <laughs> All right, Absolutely. scale it up. Awesome. We'll say, this belongs to person. That's background. Then we can make that look nicer later. Yeah, I think it'll serve as good label because I can kind of, if I'm pretending that my camera is here, it all seems to read read okay to me. How about you? It belongs to person. Yeah. Yep. Seems good. Awesome. Start painting desert in. In that case, because mm. the, the other thing is, I like what the camel's doing. Mm -hmm. Um, the cyber camel, but it was made by the same person who recolored fox cubes. So having them kind of grouped correctly would be better. Probably, yeah. Ah. Paint. There we go. Saturation, at least. Oh, the control Z thing. Right. Yep. Yep. I meant to do that. Yep, yep, yep. I wonder if that shows for you that 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 happens. Um, the terrain, if you're painting it and you undo it, it will kind of anti-alias in a few different directions. Oh. Thing is, though, you can shift, grab your color back, or no, wait, alt, 
think. Yep. Otherwise, I'd never get back to my sand color. <laughs> If no, I'm on cyber ca camel. <laughs> <laughs> what I are you doing? Hello. Like that. Um, right. So. blackout anymore. Get out of terrain mode before I break something. That was the plan, right? They're on the lion enclosure is also an open enclosure now, at the same elevation, kind of tunneling underneath. Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. And then we can just put like a little wall under the bridge, mm -hmm. or like um, railings. I mean, we could just put walls there, that's fine. We could use something to segregate them, but... Yeah, they could be visually connected from above, but I don't think you'll ever really take a look at it from underneath. No, I don't think camels would love to sit and stare at lions all day every day. You mean and they the don't lions want... would be very aggressive wanting to play with camels, so... Yeah. I mean, they don't want a direct line of sight to their primary predator all all day long for the rest of their no. life. No, it's probably not ideal. Okay. I hear stress is bad for animals. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I think that's a myth, though. I'm not really sure. <laughs> Where's my box at? Where's my geometry plane at? There you are. That's a lot of camels for this pen. Right. Do we need like nice full enclosures? This grassy outcrop. We definitely need um, some kind of rock. Thanks Tanash. Take it easy. Thanks for joining us. Yeah. Say. Have a most excellent rest of your Monday. See you next week. Ha! Ah. Hmm, is the sandy color a good idea is the question. I mean, we're in a desert, so it's probably fine, right? The um, sandy colored rocks? Yeah. I, th I think it lines up nicely. If not, I can just change the terrain paint color to kind of match the greater average of objects that we have in there. So Terrain so paint's easier if... to change. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wondering if 
just something like this is oh, kind of just good. nice for the, yeah. the silhouette and whatnot. Yeah, for now. yeah, that walls this off nicely. Let me get those bushes out of your way. Like... <laughs> Probably be more useful over near where the potentially maybe kind of sort of monkey enclosure <laughs> will probably kind of sort of be true if we get that. <laughs> if not, it's okay, I can delete people's reactions. <laughs> no, no, don't <laughs> skew the results. <laughs> What? Oh, I voted and nice... it got deleted. What a scam. Some mm. nice wholesome competition in our votes. We... Yeah. This is a healthy democracy over in uh, Weekly Art Challenge channel. Thing I wanted to click on. Is that too big? No, I think we can get away with that. Probably want one of the rocks to be on its side. Probably have made one of those. Sandy. Of course, I didn't make them. I made it on a different account. That'll be why I can't find it. Ooh, yeah. Not put too much in, but I want enough where it's Aww. a good backdrop. Thank you, Tanasha. Yeah, I like to uh, do a little artful stream every Monday. And um, if you're around next Monday and you have the same free time, stop by. Or you can even just catch us on the Discord and you can make it your, your own art challenge and I'll feature it in our showcase. I hope it's not too overconfident to say that I think next week's will be um, monkeys. <laughs> maybe. We don't know. Maybe. Maybe. We don't know. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. I don't know how that happened. Yeah, this is clearly... Why is it? Oh, because I'm in local, not world. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't think this works. The grass is on the side. It's obviously not supposed to be. Not one. I mean, you can kind of just paint patches of grass in, or you could even just put, you know, the grass objects that I made for the farming game, I think are also here in a recolorable version. Ooh. And if you sprinkle that around this and make it match the grass pattern, it might be enough to kind of feather it in to mm. save it. It's like a little outcropping where grass has decided to grow. Because it happens in patches, you know? Yeah. It doesn't usually happen near trees unless there is nothing. Uh, nothing else. I actually like the fact that some of it gets dipped out. Like that. Alright. 
Uh, actually no, because that's very busy that side and not very busy on either. Yeah, I think I have three sizes of this. There we go. That's Perfect. Awesome. Yes. Difficult to click on from zoomed out though. <laughs> on the grass, yeah, sometimes I use the entity search to get around faster when I'm trying to get the small stuff. Hmm. Like, give them a tag and just always grab all. Sidewalk, see a little bit of mountain, a little bit of buildings. Nice and even with the bridge height. Probably take the walls in a bit. That should be fine. Right, so. So. Portable objects, emissive. We want a uh, slightly yellower. Clouds ignore fog now. So good. Alright, so you're you were made. Um all came I the view from above of the whole um, savannah enclosure. All right. It connects nicely here. There's still some work to do. I still don't think that's the right grass color yet. Um, perhaps more lush would be better. Yeah, it does look nice and um, dry at the moment, but yeah, maybe a pinch more saturation mm. towards the green. I love how, how you brought in the um, flat animals on the rocks, though. Camels, promise. 
They are. Puff mm, Knight. Magma Camel. There we go. Volcano Tie. Not done uh, week one yet, but week two is getting there. <laughs> well, week one we had to rethink a little bit, so I'll tell you what, I'm gonna go ahead and move the lines over into week one, so we can say we did it, even though it's probably gonna change a bunch. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait, we need to do this as well. Yeah, get them trees in there. I might even open the line and close her up a bit more so we can repeat them a few times like you've done with the camels. Maybe get a little body of water in there. Mm. Mm. Um. Lollipop trees. <laughs> Wait, is that what they're called? No. For some reason, they just reminded me of lollipops. They are very candy color mm. in their saturation. But I love that it gives like a little bit of... Is this a real tree or is this a magical tree kind of... Mmm, a bit of mystery. Yes. it on the big bridge thing. There you go. It kind of looks like it's attached now. Yeah, it's definitely bolted on there. Okay. Right. Where is bolted on? Lion. Oh, Come did on. I forget to change the text for week one? <laughs> yes, it was the Statue of Liberty, apparently. Well, it was it. only the second or third time I've entirely forgotten that those signs need to have their text updated. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I set them up to be imported, and then I just drag and drop them into place, and I'm like, I'll come back and fix this later. Yeah. Don't ever do it. <laughs> Maybe to be fair. Mm -hmm. um, I need a little more room. Wear it. Those. So this family and those two are fine. Nailed it. Nailed it. I'll get it right eventually. No pressure. Oh, I thought that there was earth underneath this one. Where did my other one go? I had like. Yeah, well, <laughs> let's keep this there. Is 
This way I can kind of add a little entrance zone to the enclosure, I think. Where there's like the hint that they still retreat into a building where they can sleep inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I do. I'll just take a couple of these and hint at where that door is going to be. I need to get in here as well. Where do you need to get in? Or you can't get out from there? I okay. needed to check how big they were. See if they were, they were fine. Yeah, we're good. I can replace one. This one. Be this size. 0.856. Sure. The wrong one. One point oh two six. Okay. One point oh two six. I oh, wait the different things. Oh yeah. When I transfer to the right object, they'll they'll switch right. Right. Camel of joy. I make funky pan. Every time I read his name, like, it makes me just chuckle a little inside. He's got some funky pants. Got Great the funk in them. Also, I love how much they smile. Like, they them some smiling cheeks on his entry for that week. <laughs> yeah. I'm so happy. I wonder if... Mm, no, that is better. Lower. Okay. Oh, oh, sorry. Didn't mean to do that. It's all I part forgot of the that fun. terrain entity still actually reaches out even if I've carved the terrain out of that part of the entity. The bounding box is still there. 0 0.67. What I just said makes sense, but it'll make sense here in a minute. <laughs> Maybe. Are you just naming all the entries now? Yeah. The entries are done for the camel. I'm going to do the lions now. Wait, where are the lions? In the lion enclosure. <laughs> ah, they're underground, I see. Boom. <laughs> oh, is it not updating the terrain? Right. Oh, is the terrain that low? Ah, oh, yeah, of course it is. Right, I'll do a reload. Let me give a save. I'll do another reload just in case. <laughs> I 
I'll tell you what I'm looking forward to today. What's that? I'm looking forward to the end of year weekly art challenge roundup. Putting oh. all of the games into one game so we can look through a whole year's worth of weekly art challenges with three directs. Oh my gosh, yeah. Like a giant hub space of weekly art challenges for the year. Mm hmm. That's going to be sick. Is that the December project? <laughs> yes, and now I have, I have the space to plan it. Now I can go ahead and start brewing on it. Ooh. Now I've seen the magical cheat sheet of what's to come for mm. the months. You know, I can kind of plan how I'm going to design these spaces and then how I'm going to connect all these spaces. I promise I don't keep a, a very large spreadsheet with every prompt and every entry in it. I did not mention any such thing. <laughs> that. <laughs> Oh, I've just had a really funny idea. What's I'm going to do it. Okay. Right. So. Oh, what's the NPC's name? Uh, receptionist. Very. Oh, what did the... Right. And they got social in the name. I knew there's too many height differences in such a small space. I apologize for changing the height again. A little bit on Savannah for the lions. I promise it's for a good cause. I'll go ahead and move the lions up to where their new height should be. No, not that guy. <laughs> Where is it? plan does not work. <laughs> oh no, what happened? What was the plan? <laughs> oh my god, I <laughs> see. It might actually work. Okay. I know how I would try to make it work, but it requires making another skeletal object. Setting that as the head. Oh yeah, and then having it as an extra attachment. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, this is absolutely going to happen, right? Yes. Yeah, he has to be that way now. Welcome to the lion enclosure mask made by DMM. That's I have it. to get him like... Lions. Yes. He has to have like the mascot body with the limbs colored to match. Okay, so let's do that. I've got, I've got a little bit of time. I think it's worth it just for the humor. It is worth it, absolutely. Skeletal object. It's going to take oh, me a wait. minute to set up this water anyway. I have a question for you. Go for How it. do I make a new skeletal object? I know about the attachments, etc. Oh yeah, never mind. You just just edit save as one that already exists. Save yeah. as, yeah. Yep, yep. Uh, <laughs> um, mascot. Oh, that's the legs on the teddy bear, right? Um. I don't know if any mascot parts currently exist. I'm sure there is 
something like creature parts. Like there's a giant giraffe head. There's got to be some something. <laughs> I just leave this water opaque. Shouldn't be super interacted with. It's not the focus of this. <laughs> Are you going no. wild with making mascot parts now? Sometimes it's just really fun being able to access things and do weird things with those tools. Yeah. All right. So, um, Accessory and accessory. Oh, I've already started on a particle tree. We're going to be here for the rest of the stream. Yeah. Oh, it's the gravity causing it to do that, huh? Well, I kind of need gravity, but it's not that much of it. <laughs> it looks so stupid. What, the mascot? <laughs> no, wait, I have to... Is it is it showing in-game yet? No. Okay, okay. the tool automatically scales this because that mm -hmm. would have been a nightmare to figure out He's not that high. <laughs> I just, I can only imagine what's going on over there. All I see still is just the default game star guy with the lion head. It's fine. Nothing to worry about. This is fine. This is fine. I trust you. And this that's can't... where you went wrong. <laughs> yep. That was my first mistake. There's no good bodies. 
for like to use as a base. Yeah. Oh wait. Uh. Just the maniacal laughter without knowing. <laughs> it's so <laughs> ominous. I can't help it. And to be honest, I'm laughing most at the idea of having this, more than anything. Uh-huh. Arms. I need all arms. I know that most of the reason I'm struggling right now is that I've put a particle emitter on a non-uniformly transformed thing. Ooh. But I refuse to undo my mistake. <laughs> No, I can you make this like... work. <laughs> okay, this looks stupid. I like it. So, let me just remove this as I don't need it. A little object, Alex the mascot, select. I have to be here for this. There you go. Oh, excellent. <laughs> it's got the turtle bot <laughs> and the chicken leg. <laughs> <laughs> I just love that there's like still the skeletal like head here. So the, like it's somebody that just is working here part time minimum yeah. wage. They tell them you gotta put the the turtle duck costume on with the lion mask. You have to represent all the animals at our zoo and you have to smile about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and as a person who used to work for marketing at a local <laughs> uh, nightclub. It is a yeah. nightmare. I used to dress up as Ali G. Ali G? With the, Who's... the goatee and the yellow tracksuit and the cap. Uh, I also used to dress as... Something I can't say on stream. Cool. Oh, that's so okay. That was part of the job. Yeah. Man, and that's gonna be wild. Getting in costume every night, I was like, oh, I hate my job. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Yes, I'm, uh, it's quite I'm glad you survived. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, the things that you're asked to do mm. in those jobs. Oh, or just like the questions that I think I get would be the, the just jewel in the crown of like, do I really want to be doing this? <laughs> <laughs> Is this what I want to do with my life? <laughs> Is this the amount of money that's worth it for me to be doing this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was a Girl Scout camp counselor. Oh? For a summer. Yep, for one summer. Kind of called in last minute. I'd never done any Girl Scout anything before, so I didn't know what to expect. I pull up to this campground in the middle of nowhere. I don't know anybody here except for one person. She's not there when I pull up. Another girl that is another counselor is like, you have to help. I know you just got here, but I don't, I can't serve the kids their lunches. I go over to the lunch area. Like they can't wash their hands. The sink is like full of something. And I it just, it's murky. Like you look at this sink out in the middle of the woods. It's, you can't see to the bottom of it. There's stuff floating at the top of it. I think they're oh, dead no. bugs. And I'm like, okay. First impressions time. Am I really ready to do this? <laughs> and I just throw my hands all the way into the water and just start fishing around, hoping something doesn't bite me. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> oh, that sounds awful, Summer. But, you know, after that, everything else was so much better. <laughs> <laughs> like, it can't be as bad as that first day I rolled up and had to throw my hands into mystery water. <laughs> 
Christ, gross. <laughs> that had been standing there for I don't know how long. Oh dear. Oh, Summer, will you do me a favor and uh, stop the game for me? Yep. Thank Nobody you very much. Wanna Need to fix the scale and whatnot of this DBB chatty script. Oh, yeah. Can you press play for me when you have a minute? Alrighty. Oh. Good chance for me to get a reset on how everything looks from spawn. Looking good. There we go. <clears throat> I think I'm going to mess with the render settings in these last couple of minutes because that default fog never quite behaves like I want. It's going to give that a little push. Ah, oh, I see what you're doing here with the water. I get you. Right, sitting lion. This is the closest to being scale one. So two and three. Oh, okay, I have to save and reload. I can't walk on the terrain since I've changed it. Ah, I'll okay. be right back. Sitting lion. Is by McFunky Pants. And the scale should be 1.4. Wait, are these camels for feeding the lions? <laughs> I don't know if I can support this. <laughs> they are not. <laughs> okay. It's because, um... What is going off here? Unif uh, I need to toggle that off. Okay. Because I've already got the text and everything set up. It's just quicker to copy-paste, switch out the text. Yeah. Well, in two hours, I think we've gotten two enclosures just about filled up. Nice and natural. It looks like a zoo. It looks like a zoo to me. Yeah. Um, right, what we got? What's this one? Iron, uh, lion animation, not iron animation. I foxy the host, rename this to Foxy the host. Big. Wait, if we collide with the character, do we get our own, like, novelty oh. mask? Oh, we absolutely have to do that. Yes. <laughs> oh, let's do it. Transform not. I mean, did I scale these to people size? I think I did. People size. You know, general people size ish. Somewhere between four and eight feet. You know, it's only four feet of. Eh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and then this was by. Wait a second. I didn't include your submission, Summer. For lions. Oh, oh right. for camels. Ah, you. Okay. I don't have one for a camel yet. I, uh. Th that would have been what we did on stream today, but I really wanted to get a head start on the zoo. Makes sense. I will sneak a, a camel in there without telling anyone and see if anyone spots it among the crowd. Oh, yeah, Mindy. Secret agent Mindy, actually. Yes. I don't know where secret agent came in when I was asking why the name, <laughs> but that's what 
That's what she gets to do in her off hours, whenever she's yeah. not being a one. Whenever she's not working, you know, full time at the zoo, she's part time secret agent. Very busy life, this lion. Oh no, um, you're the... I reload. think you got the stop start. Yeah, I need to reload because um, the terrain's changed, hasn't it? Yep, yep. Um, but that said, it is five. If we want to do a little bit more wrapping up, we can. But I won't keep you too much longer. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what happened? Were you uh... loaded in the lines are all just floating. Yeah. <laughs> or in the ground. <laughs> uh... It's a power move. They're walking on water. And I don't mind being kept a little. <clears throat> I'm just, uh, I have one thing to do today, and that's get um, platinum in TFT. And I'm like three games away. I win. Platinum in, in what game? Uh, team Fight Tactics. Team Fight Tactics. I don't know this one. It's by Riot Games. It's an. Auto battler match three kind of game. Okay. Very cool, kind of luck based, kind of strategy based. Great. Cool. Um, I've just been playing Paranorma Site. Oh yeah, I saw over the weekend. What's that like? It's a. Um... It's a horror visual novel, but I like the camera controls and the things hiding around. You know, you know, like you're in a HDRI kind of scene, illustrated mm -hmm. scene, with the characters. So there's things that will be happening behind you as dialogue in this visual novel is going on, or around you, and you have to kind of always be a little bit perceptive, which is something I find cool. When mm -hmm. they just add a little extra mechanic like that into something as small as a visual novel. But yeah, it was part of the sale that went on, so I thought it was worth checking out. So far, nice. I'm liking it. Cool. These lines are like, no. No, please, help. We're trapped <laughs> on the other side of the river. <laughs> no. I Maybe don't hate this idea. <laughs> Maybe I'll smooth the terrain on the far side of the lake to have more of a, a cliff up there for them to chill on at a different height. Hello. Maybe we are kind of at, at an angle. Um. Oh. We did it, Summer. We made this beautiful, two beautiful enclosures today. Yeah, and we got the bones set up for the rest yeah. of everything. I can't wait to do like a food pass. Oh yeah, you're gonna make a pick up a bowl, eatable food thing? Mm, I'll have a look at that tomorrow, just to see how it's done in um, the world. <clears throat> awesome. Well, thanks for joining me and uh, getting everything in and labeled and helping design the enclosures and everything. It's been an absolute pleasure. I hope we can do this again sometime. Absolutely. And I hope everyone watching has a good week and I will see y'all on next Monday. Bye everybody. Bye, <laughs>